Hello everybody, it's June 17, 2012. We're at Trapeze Pub in Athens, Georgia, and we're here celebrating the great rollout of Green Flash Brewing from San Diego, California. And we've got Dave Little with Savannah Distributors. Cheers. We've got Chuck Silva with the Brewmaster for Green Flash. Cheers. And we've got Eric Johnson, the owner of Trapeze Pub in Athens, Georgia. Cheers. So, cheers guys, good to have you here. Good to uh, have Green Flash in Georgia. We've been waiting for it for a long, long time. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> So Chuck, you just moved to a huge new brewery uh, in San Diego. When was that, and and are you happy with the new facility? The new facility is incredible. It's a great place to work. It's a dream brewery. It's really an awesome dream brewery. Uh, we've been operating almost a year now. We started in July last year. Uh, we actually worked all night. Had it ramped up by say September, October, and uh, so we've kind of hit our stride in September, October. Is it nice to have a new brewery where you have complete control over what went where and you've learned from your mistakes at the old place? Yeah. Well, I'm always learning from mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful place. Like, it, it, it's a beautiful brewery. You got some automation. We're able to have like, more control in place. Yeah, which you know, improves our consistency over batch to batch. And uh, we're, we're almost 800 batches into the, the new brewery already. So that's all nice and good. But the best thing about it is it makes you, you can now make enough beer to come to Georgia. So that's true. That's right. the important thing. Dave, how long have you guys been waiting to get uh, Green Flash here at Savannah? I, I first went out to see uh, Mike and the guys at Green Flash about two and a half years ago. So it's been that long, you know, working, trying to, trying to get enough, enough beer being made that they can come to the state. So. Yeah, we like the idea of sending beer to Georgia. And just, we, just knew, we just knew that we wouldn't be able to. Provide enough to keep up with it. So we held off and we held off and, and now it's done. I just made I just made my sad face long enough to say it finally gave it. That was what it was. <laughs> right. Are you guys pretty pleased at this demand? I mean, is it is a lot more than you ever it's thought? It's yeah. tremendous. And we don't try and saturate any market. We're in a lot of states. But we're just sending out just enough. Uh, we're not pushing the beer. There's, there's plenty of room for growth for us in all the territories. Right? I think we're, we're spread out so that a lot of people can get our beer. And uh, you know, for us to still come to Georgia at this time, I think it's, it's a tremendous opportunity. We're going to sell a lot of beer here. <laughs> Have you had a lot of requests for the Green Flash over the years? Especially the last three years. Yeah. We have, um, in fact, I was, I was telling one of the guys earlier that we, when, we, when we launched Lost Abbey, there were a number of hiccups and we caught a lot of flack for not actually legitimately launching Lost Abbey on the day that we said we were going to. But, um, it wasn't entirely my fault. I don't know <laughs> right. <laughs> So when we announced that we were going to launch Green Flash and had the date for it, I, I got probably 25 emails where people were like, seriously, like, is it is it actually going to be that day? And, um, and so I had to send out another email that said, seriously, Green Flash launch, seriously, seriously. 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 Seriously.